So you guys wanted some help with how to use Zoom. So a couple things I want to show you. Um, and they just updated this. So if you don't have um, security right here, if you have invite instead, there will be an update coming out soon that's going to change all that. A um, couple things when you first sign on, it probably looks like this. Um, I would suggest go ahead and click participants. It's going to show you who's in the room. It also allows you to admit people. Now this is easier to play with if you have a participant. Um, so for now, I am going to be joining on my iPad as well. So first things first, you've got controls over here to mute. So I'm going to mute the iPad. Um, when you're looking at a screen, change it to gallery view so that you can see everybody. When you have multiple participants, it's going to make a bigger difference for you. Um, you know, when you've got 10, 20, 30 kids, having the multiple participants and being able to click, uh, it'll be left or right arrows, depending on what screen you're on, lets you scroll through and see what all the kids are doing. Um, when you're over here, you notice you have more. So in other words, if a kid is doing something inappropriate um, on their screen, you can hit stop video, and that shuts off their video. In addition to the mute, that means you've also shut off their ability to make sound or inappropriate anything. If you ask them to start video, what happens is they will get a pop-up on their screen asking them to go ahead and start video. When they hit OK, then it'll start. Now, um, second part of this, when you go to more, you can make someone a host or co-host, uh, but Options are limited here because I am using my teacher account on my other screen. Um, but what I would go ahead and suggest with that is not giving up control of your screen unless it's a student you know you can trust who's not going to have anything inappropriate on there. Um, once you give it, you can withdraw the co-host permission. Um, if you have a student who comes in and doesn't have an appropriate name, you can change the name here. I'm not going to do it on mine because I need it to show up correctly for the kids. But if you change the name, that'll change it on both their screen as well as in your participant list. You can have the options, um, and this is in your settings, for the kids to respond with yes, they get something, no, they don't. And as you clear things, it will clear for them. Mute and unmute all does exactly that. Under more, you can adjust some of the things that you had. So say you don't originally have it set up to mute participants upon entry, you can click that. You can allow the students to unmute themselves, depending on how many kids. You may not want to do that. Um, the enter exit chime only plays um, for you if you have it set up that way. If you have students, allow students to rename themselves, that means you're giving them the option to, if you change it, to go back and change it themselves. Locking the meeting means no one else will be able to join. So if you are having a problem with people bombing your meetings, you can do this. However, if you do that, that means any kids who show up a little late won't be able to get in. Um, and then always have enable waiting room because what happens is instead of people automatically being admitted at the top of the participants when someone wants to join, you'll have the option to individually admit or admit a bunch of participants at one time. So the kids can't join the chat before you invite them to. On invite, this gives you your meeting ID. It also gives you the URL and the password. If you wanted to invite someone from um, our school or anyone in the district, you're able to just start typing. And you can see I can invite Canon to this if I chose to right now. All right, down here, support enables you to take control of their computer with their permission. It only works on the kids who have MacBooks. It won't work if they have a Windows, a Chromebook, Lenovo, any of that. You guys are familiar with reactions. It, when a person chooses to use that, it will then show the reaction for a limited period of time in their window. Record is how you record the meetings, especially if it's a lesson you're teaching. You may want to record the meeting. Um, when you choose to hit record, it will show up here that it is recording, and you can choose either up there or down here to pause or just stop the recording altogether. Share screen. Make sure that you have this set so it's host only. Again, you don't necessarily want the kids sharing a screen. When you do this, you can pick what it's going to share. 
and it depends on what options you have open. If you do desktop, they're going to see everything on the desktop, whereas if you use Chrome, they're only going to see the Chrome tab that you have open and any additional tabs that you click on. Okay. Um, keep that in mind, especially um, if you do desktop and you have your email open, that's kind of sensitive. Um, you can choose whether or not you have the um, computer sound, and if you're recording the video, say you're just trying to do a screen share and record video to show the kids something, then you can optimize it for screen sharing. We've gone over participants. Security is a new feature. It does enable you to lock the meeting again, enable a waiting room. Um, choose whether or not they can rename themselves, share a screen, and also remove a participant. Now, when you remove the participant and you click their name here, that kicks them out. However, if you have it set up in your settings to let a participant back in, then they can rejoin and they're automatically admitted. So just keep that in mind. Stopping video does turn your video off. Muting will turn your mic off. And all of this for the most part, you do not need to touch. Over here under the video, if you choose virtual backgrounds, it's going to enable you to put in a virtual background so that you can see something other than whatever's behind you. Because the school computers, for the most part, do not support this, you will have to have something green in color behind you in order for it to work properly. Other than that, I think that pretty much covers everything. You can mute on individual pictures, and using this, you can pin a video to keep an eye on it, rename from there, add a profile picture, um, hide your self view if you're like me and you can't stand the fact you're having to look at yourself. You can hide self view so that the only thing you're seeing is the kids. Um, additionally, you can choose to mute your audio or stop the video here too. And as always, when you're ready to end the meeting, all you've got to do is click End Meeting and make sure that you hit End Meeting for All so the kids aren't hanging out when you're done. I think that's everything, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Hope you all are doing well.